Hi, this is Dina for Split Coast Stampers. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a standing shapes card. This card is a special fold that holds up some standing elements when it's open, and it's a fun card for any occasion. I'm starting with my card base, which is a standard half sheet of cardstock cut vertically. It's four and a quarter by eleven inches, and I'll score it at five and three eighths inches and five and five eighths inches. And what that does is create a wider fold for the card so we can pack all kinds of things inside. The next panel is 4 inches by 11 inches, and that will be the inside panel of our card. I'm going to score at 4 and a half inches, 5 inches, 5 and a half inches, 6 inches, and 6 and a half inches. So five score lines in the center of the panel. And the next step is to fold on those score lines accordion style. And we're going to create two mountain folds right in the center of the panel, and those will hold our inside elements. You might want to use a bone folder or something to make sure your score lines are nice and tight. The shapes that are inside your card will be standing up on top of plastic strip. You can use transparency sheets for this or window sheets. What I used is some plastic packaging from a toy that my kids had. Whatever works for you that's a little bit flexible will be fine. And I just cut that into quarter inch strips with my paper trimmer. And I find with the paper trimmer that it works better to pull the blade toward me rather than pushing it away. The number of strips you'll need will depend on how many shapes you have inside your card and how high you want them to stand. The next step is to line the inside of those two mountain folds with double stick tape. I put one down each side and then one down the center fold for a little extra support. I die cut three little cupcakes and I just want to lay them out and position them about where I want them to stand in relation to each other. And I'm going to use that position to cut the length of my plastic strips. On each die cut piece I want to make sure that the plastic strip goes about up to the middle of the piece and then down to the center line of the inside of the card. With the length of the plastic strips determined, I can go ahead and position them on that sticky strip. So I'm removing the liner and I'm just going to position them kind of from the center out in the way that I want them to stand inside the card. Here it helps to lay the card flat so that you can see if your standing elements will hang outside the edge of the card or not. This next step isn't really necessary, but I thought it would be nice to have a piece backing my cupcake so I didn't have any adhesive hanging out anywhere. If you don't have a backing for your elements, that's fine. I'm attaching the backing piece to the clear strip with double-sided tape. And then on the back of my cupcakes, I've got some foam tape so they stand out a little bit. You could also use glue or glue dots to connect the die cuts to the plastic strips. To finish the inside fold, all you need to do is squeeze the two mountains together and allow the adhesive to stick to itself. To put the two card panels together, you'll need to line up the score lines and also make sure you have adhesive to the outside of the folds on the back of the inside panel. You'll also have about an inch on either end of the inside to decorate however you wish, and you can decorate the front of the card as well. Here's my completed sample closed, so you can see how all the folds fit together. And then a look at the front and what the card looks like open. This sample is from our tutorial author, and she created a graduation card with a special pocket for a gift card inside. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.